I'm just trying to watch a movie, but the disc is all scratched. Luckily, there's an easy solution to fix that. Seriously though, bananas might actually be able to fix scratched discs. This is a little myth that's been going around, and I'm going to put an end to this. So what I did was I bought two movies, I scratched up one disc really bad where it doesn't read it anymore and this disc not so bad where it just kind of freezes every now and again. And the actual method that you're supposed to use when you are cleaning the discs with bananas is you get the actual banana and you wipe that in circular motions on the disc, then you get the peel, do the same on the inside of the peel, then you get some glass cleaner, spray that on it and then wipe it down with a cloth and that apparently can fix the scratches. So. Let's find out. A quick side note, when you're cleaning discs, you should never wipe in circular motions. You should always go from the inside to the outside. For this case, the method for using bananas to clean scratches specifically stated to wipe in circular motions, so that, that's what I'm going to be doing. So here are the two discs. This one here is scratched really bad that uh, the computer doesn't even read it anymore. And this one, although it looks kind of bad, it's actually pretty decent. The movie still plays really well, just occasional lagging here and there. So anyway, let's get on to this. This is the least scratched CD. I'm going to try first, see how that goes. And of course, due to copyright restrictions, I will not be showing the results. You're just going to have to trust my word on this. So using the actual meat of the banana, here's what I have to do. Circular motion around the disc. There we go, that is sufficiently coated in banana residue. The next step is you get the inside of the peel and you wipe around. Same kind of motion. I believe it has something to do with the waxy kind of inside of the peel. And then you get a cloth and you wipe off most of the banana residue. And then you grab your glass cleaner. and spray it on there and then you got to wipe this for three to four minutes so I'm gonna get busy doing that all right that's some time later I gotta say it looks almost like some of the scratches have gone which is interesting but um, if you want to hear the results then stick to the end because I'm gonna do the same thing to this next super scratch disc. See if it makes a difference there. See the least scratch one, the most scratched one. I'm gonna put them into the computer and test to see if it did any fixing at all. This is also my old computer. I'm doing that because I don't want to put any of this stuff into my new one, just in case it wrecks it somehow. Yeah, it made it so much worse. I don't even need to be worried about copyright here. It's not even showing anything. Just a little, little bit of a light there. All right, looks like I'm gonna test the next one. Now remember, the computer didn't even recognize this one before. So let's see if the banana treatment can at least allow it to recognize it. Doesn't sound healthy at all. It's a uh, it doesn't know what I just put in it. Yeah, okay, so. The moral of the story is do not rub bananas on your CDs. Honestly, the results there is no surprise to me. Rubbing a banana on a CD just doesn't seem plausible at all, especially for how information is burnt onto the CD in the first place. But anyway, that brings me to the end of this video. I want to mention that this video is actually supported by Patreon. So my patrons over there, they helped me get the glass cleaner and the movies 
to test this out. So I appreciate your support there. And if you are willing to support me, there will be a link in the description or the card right there. And if you think I've earned it, then do consider subscribing. And until then, don't rub bananas on your CDs and I'll see you next time.